Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as many of you know, I am expecting my first baby. I'm currently 27 weeks pregnant and as you can imagine, I'm very excited, but I also want to make sure that I'm doing my best to take care of myself and my baby. So I have done a lot of research and have learned so much along the way, which is why I decided to put together this video of my favorite pregnancy hacks that have helped me out tremendously so far, and I hope they will help you too. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. My first pregnancy hack is for those of you who maybe want to disguise your baby bump once in a while. So although I love my baggy shirts nowadays, I found that the most effective way to hide a baby bump is with ruffles. Ruffles create the perfect distraction for the eyes and make it hard to pinpoint whether there's a belly under all of that fabric or it's just all of that volume. We'll have to keep guessing. If you're in the earlier stages of pregnancy or if your baby bump is not too big yet, I wanted to show you my favorite way to wear your old jeans without having to buy maternity jeans. Just keep in mind that this hack will only work on jeans that have a button at the top. So what you wanna do is take a strong hair elastic and loop it around the top button of your jeans, then weave the other end through the eye on the other side and loop it over the button again. Pretty cool, right? I cannot tell you how many times this trick has saved me during my pregnancy and I have yet to buy a pair of maternity jeans. So as long as you wear a top that is long enough to cover up your MacGyvering, no one will ever know what's underneath. Oh, and you can do this with any other bottoms that have a button at the top as well. So I get asked pretty much on a daily basis what I do to stay fit during my pregnancy. And honestly, there's no secret. You just have to stay active. My favorite form of exercises to do during my pregnancy have been going for walks and doing body weight exercises, which can be done at home. I've done a whole video on my prenatal workouts a couple weeks ago, which I'll link in the top right corner for you guys to check out. But staying active is probably one of the best pregnancy hacks. Why? Because it not only helps control weight gain and helps you gain slow and steady throughout your pregnancy, but it also helps prevent gestational diabetes. It helps minimize negative pregnancy symptoms like back aches and muscle aches. It helps with an easier labor and aids in recovery after birth. It helps balance your hormones and it can help prevent diastasis recti or the dreaded mummy tummy after birth. Of course, you always want to make sure that you talk to your doctor and get the green light before doing any exercises that you're not used to doing during pregnancy, but this has probably been one of my biggest lifesavers so far. Let's talk about stretch marks for a moment because I know a lot of us want to know how to prevent them. So first things first, I have to mention that whether you get stretch marks or not is pretty dependent on genetics. If your mom had stretch marks while she was pregnant, it is more likely that you will have them too. But there are certain things you can do to minimize your chances. The first thing is to use a highly absorbent oil like rosehip oil. The problem with most oils, like coconut oil for example, is that their molecules are too large to actually penetrate deep into the skin's deepest layers, where most of the tearing and stretching tends to happen during pregnancy. Rosehip oil is one of the only oils that has molecules that are small enough to deeply penetrate the skin and can fill in those spaces in between the stretched out skin cells to allow the skin to stretch gently without leaving marks. For the best results, I like to massage a few drops into my belly, breasts, hips, and thighs every day. And so far, I haven't gotten any stretch marks as you can see, and I'm currently six months pregnant. Some other oils that are great, highly absorbent oils are camellia seed oil and apricot oil. Another hack to minimize stretch marks that I found to be very effective is dry brushing. During pregnancy, I only dry brush my legs and hips to avoid the belly area, but these areas are also prone to getting stretch marks. So the reason this works is because dry brushing increases blood circulation to the areas you are dry brushing, which then improves collagen and elastin production in the skin. This helps minimize stretching and tearing on a deep level, therefore helps prevent stretch marks. 
The key to minimizing stretching and stretch marks is to make sure you're supporting your belly as much as possible, especially when it gets bigger. Oils and massaging are great, but it's what you do during the day while you're out and about that makes a big difference. One of my favorite ways to keep my belly supported is with a belly band. This is one that I picked up on Amazon and it works great and is fully adjustable. What I do is place it right under my belly to prevent muscle separation and skin stretching, especially when I know I'm gonna go for a walk or if I know I'm going to be on my feet for a while. The great thing about the belly band is that it's pretty undetectable under loose fitting clothes so you can be comfortable and discreet. Another great way to keep your belly supported under clothes is using KT tape, which is actually meant for muscle support and relieving muscle tension for sports. It's basically a thin adhesive strip that you can place on your skin to lift your belly and add support to those areas that tend to stretch and relax throughout the day. Although this method doesn't provide as much support as a belly band, this is a great option for those days where you want to wear something a little more fitted and don't want the belly band bulging through your clothes. I love using KT tape tape for going out because you can't feel them and they're completely undetectable under clothes and you don't have to remove them every time you have to run to the washroom. Since we're already on the topic of belly support and preventing stretch marks, I have to mention the amazing Mama Shorts by Spanx. You can use this instead of KT tape under more fitted clothing, plus they'll give you a little extra smoothing and shaping on any problem areas so you can look and feel your best during your pregnancy. Okay, so we all know that the belly goes through a lot of changes during pregnancy, but another part of your body that goes through a lot of change is the area down there, especially during labor. So to prepare your down there area for labor, I have been recommended to make sure that area stays moisturized to help the skin become more flexible to prevent painful tearing. The safest products to use down there are virgin coconut oil and aloe vera. So both of these products are super moisturizing, super safe, safe to use and will help minimize tearing for a quicker, easier recovery after birth. Another pregnancy hack to help with a faster, easier labor and faster recovery after birth is to do pelvic floor exercises to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. Doing this will help your contractions be more effective and it will also help prevent diastasis recti after birth. What you want to do is sit up, shoulders back, and squeeze the muscles you use when you're trying to hold in your pee. Squeeze for 5 seconds and then relax. Repeat this exercise 30 times every day for the best results. The most common way women get diastasis recti during pregnancy is by activating their abdominal muscles. It is very important that you do not do anything that will activate them, such as doing sit-ups or getting out of bed by curling upwards. This can cause your muscles to separate even further and make it very difficult for them to come back together after birth. So the best way to get out of bed is to roll onto one side and lift yourself up using your hands and forearms so that you're not straining your abdominal muscles. One of the most important things you can do during pregnancy is to stay hydrated. Water is not only important to make sure everything in your body is working smoothly for you and baby, but it also helps support the skin's moisture barrier. It makes the skin more supple and less prone to stretching and tearing, therefore it's less likely to give you unwanted stretch marks. If you want to hack your water, try adding hydrolyzed collagen into your water once a day. Hydrolyzed collagen helps support your skin's collagen and elastin production, making it more elastic and less prone to stretching and tearing. Not to mention, it's also amazing for your skin, hair, and nails. Just make sure that you use one that's made from organic grass-fed beef like this one I have here because the ones that come from fish sources are not recommended during pregnancy. But nevertheless, always check with your doctor before adding any supplements to your diet. If you happen to be pregnant in the middle of summer or if you're traveling somewhere where there are mosquitoes, skip the toxic bug spray and try this natural hack. Mosquitoes hate certain essential oils like peppermint oil, so it's a great way to protect yourself from being bit without exposing yourself to toxic chemicals of bug spray. Just dab some peppermint essential oil on your skin and reapply every two hours or so to keep the mosquitoes at bay. 
One of the most important pregnancy hacks I can share with you is how to rewire your brain to look at labor in a healthier way. Unfortunately, here in North America, we have been conditioned to think that labor needs to happen in a hospital setting with all the bells and whistles of an epidural, drugs, and C-sections. Now, I totally understand that every labor is unique, and in some cases, some of these methods are necessary, but in majority of healthy pregnancies, these extras are just that, extra. So I've been working on retraining my mind thanks to the help of this book about hypnobirthing and working with my mind and body to prepare for a natural labor. It's actually fascinating when you learn how common it is for women around the world to have a completely natural and successful birth outside of a hospital setting without any intervention of drugs. A woman's body is built for this. You have to trust your body and not fear the process. And if you guys are interested in checking out this book, I'll link it down below. I think it's such an important read and and so, so empowering. Let's chat about food for a moment. Now, I know sometimes it's hard to stay healthy during pregnancy if you're not feeling well or if you're having pregnancy cravings. I know that all too well, but I cannot tell you how important your diet is during this crucial time. All the nutrients you eat are being delivered to your developing baby, so you want to make it count. One of the nutrients you want to focus on getting enough of is protein. Lean, unprocessed protein like chicken breast, turkey breast, beans, legumes, and fish low in mercury are all essential for your growing baby. One of my favorite meals to make is a salad with grilled chicken breast. It's simple, easy, and you can add different ingredients every time and make a homemade dressing to switch things up and keep it interesting. Plus protein is an important component of helping your body build collagen and elastin in your skin, which also helps prevent stretch marks. Another important nutrient you should be getting enough of during pregnancy is fat, but not any kind of fat. Unsaturated fat is key. Unsaturated fats can be found in foods like avocados, fish, and olive oil. One of my favorite ways to incorporate unsaturated fats into my meals is to put avocado in literally everything. In my salads, on my toast, in my smoothies, you'd be surprised how much more delicious a smoothie tastes with avocado. It creates a smooth, rich texture that's super yummy and good for you and the baby. Plus, remember how beneficial applying oil to your skin is topically? Imagine what it can do for your skin when you eat it. Eating lots of unsaturated fats is another great way to hack your body into hydrating your skin from the inside out and preventing those stretch marks. Oh, and I forgot to mention that eating a diet that's high in protein and unsaturated fats and low in sugar can really help you avoid developing gestational diabetes. So if you're around 32 weeks pregnant, you're probably thinking about labor and delivery by now. If not, you probably should be. One of the things you can do to help make those contractions more effective and help with a faster, easier labor is to start drinking a combo of nettle leaf and raspberry leaf tea. Now again, as with all supplements or herbs, make sure you get the okay from your doctor first, but I've had many friends swear by this pregnancy hack in helping them deliver their babies a lot faster. So so it's recommended to drink one cup a day for the first week and gradually move up to three cups a day when you're around the 36 week mark for the best results. If you're in the second trimester of your pregnancy, you're probably starting to feel a little achy. Muscle cramps, especially in the calves, are very common during pregnancy. One of the foods that has personally helped me relieve my muscle cramping have been bananas. Bananas are a rich source of potassium, an essential mineral that helps reduce muscle cramps. They are also beneficial for the baby's brain and nerve development and are a rich source of pectin and fiber, which are great for digestion. Okay guys, so that wraps up my top pregnancy hacks. I really hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.